Welcome back to the next video. I'm Jesse, that's Henry. We're going to Marblehead. Let's go right now. Fastest intro ever. So we're currently in line for the ferry. We're in the ferry lane. Mm. Looks like you uh, board right down there. I don't see a ferry, so this might be a long wait. Maybe we shouldn't have started cooking. You know, that thing is, is cruising right along, isn't it? I was expecting it. Uh, it's 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So we might have to just take this on the road. It's a windshield off kind of day. It's beautiful out here. You'll have that. So I will say without the rooftop tent, I feel a lot better uh, going under low branches. I was always so worried about, you know, you know, ripping the top. I've done it like two or three times already. But uh, without it, it's pretty nice. So this is the first time actually wheeling this Jeep without the rooftop tent. I'm trying to see what kind of difference it makes, if it's super noticeable or if not. As of right now, on these kind of trails, I'm not really feeling much of a difference, whether it being up there or not. And honestly, the fuel mileage really made no difference either, which was pretty interesting. I thought for sure I'd get a little bit better fuel mileage. This is pretty chewed up through here, and I'm a little bit diffed out, but I'm not really seeing another, another way to make it.
not gonna wind it up because I know we're gonna be needing this again and I'd rather have it in a big loop on the hood ready to go. All right, Jesse's winding up and we're gonna keep rolling. He's keeping a winch out because like you said, we're gonna need it and I'm probably gonna end up the same. Mine's not out yet. Jesse's in a predicament where if he slips off that, he could end up on his side. Jesse, what happens if you slide? Well, if I slide, that's bottomless. Good chance uh, I'm gonna be underwater on my side. sure I like where I'm sitting right now. Hmm. So I'm in quite of a predicament here. I got a tree right in front of me and uh, this wheel is definitely going to slide into there. I think, I think I'm just going to just gun it and hope for the best. If I slide in there too slow, there's a very real chance of, of me ending up on my side. So. Much better. At least I'm down in the hole now. Uh, I'm definitely stuck for sure. Uh, I came down pretty hard, but I think I think I like that way better. All right, which up. Should I tell Jesse I'm like sideways? All right, so he's currently stuck. I'm currently still back here, so we're gonna try to do a double recovery. Once I pull myself out up onto the top, I'm gonna hold my brakes, and then he's gonna hit reverse and try to get himself, I'll pull him backwards. Will it work? I don't know. Only one way to find out. The plan worked. Uh, luckily, we both got out. I got out first, I held my brakes, pulled him right backwards. That section right there, I, I that actually made me pucker a little bit. I'll, I'll, I'll show you why. This right here is like bottomless. Uh, if I would've went in there back here, there's a very good chance that, that would've flipped over. So I'm glad we got through this okay. Let's keep heading down and let's get the marble head before it gets too dark. I'm getting that low angle. <laughs> I see that. Well. <laughs> Stuck. When you fell, I looked up. And I, and, the, and I was like, oh, because I was trying to keep that wheel no, on the no, edge. No, I, that no, was, you no, I looked at you. way before you fell. Come on, Maggie, do something. I'm trying to help you, girl. I'll be your jack. Oh, poison ivy, I love crap and break. I was really expecting like a dramatic sucking in effect. It's not a wood chipper.
All right, so Henry's gonna opt for the winch on this one. He tried feeding it rocks and that, no, it, it didn't work at all. But the winch, however, probably will work. Yeah. I got the uh, winch hooked up to a tree. I leave my tree saver on my winch line so it's a lot quicker. S cables will cut a tree and kill it, so. All right, let's see if this pulls. All right, success. It's actually a lot harder. Actually a lot harder winch than I thought it would be. So I was probably gonna get stuck inevitably. I didn't go in the way I wanted to go in. You can never really guarantee you're gonna go in or out the way you want. This is totally like choose your own adventure here. Uh, how stuck do you wanna get? Because you're not making it through here without getting stuck. Like, uh, yep, mm, stuck, mm, stuck. Mm, we walked this one already, stuck. It's a really tight one, but there's a lot of paint on these trees. Stuck. This has got a whole lot of pick your poison trails. So I pick my poison. I'm gonna head to the right and try to kind of crab walk the trail. Kind of what I tried in the last one, didn't work so well. So we'll see if it works any better on this trail. Unfortunately, I slipped off into a rut so I was trying to keep out of and it just dipped out. I think I'm out of the hole. I'm going to unhook the winch and drive out. Didn't go the way I planned, but we're through it. Well, he got through that first part. Uh, I guess I'm next. Oh, you got real far. Oh my gosh, you're literally stuck. On that. that was, uh, I was going slow because I, I didn't think there was a problem here. I'm not having great faith on this for some reason. I feel like I'm just gonna dip out literally instantly. I gotta choose my next adventure here. And uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, none of them are looking great.
tight little trail. So what's gonna be our next adventure? Probably the same trail for six miles. Yeah. All right, so this trail is actually like 13.6 miles long um, to get the marble head from where we started. And it's, uh, it started out pretty easy, but it's getting pretty gnarly. What do you think, Jess? It's getting pretty gnarly. I like it though. Well, you made that look really easy, actually. Little Jeep for the win on that one. I might have a little more trouble than you. Should have gave it a little bit more pedal. I was a little bit nervous though. So. Dang it. I'm just gonna do a simple winch to that dead tree right there and it should get me off of the thing that I'm stuck on. Right. Little bit of winch, it makes it almost too easy. <laughs> Alright, the trail is actually mellowing out now a little bit. For at least this section, not too bad. Anything more fun than splashing through some water? Come on. All right, we're getting closer and closer to Marblehead. All right, so we got to the part of the trail called the steps. We're gonna send Henry's little Jeep down first, like always. Let's get right to it. Yeah. Yeah, stuck. Ah, uh, your transfer case. So I'm gonna take this line next. Pretty sure I'll be all right. If not, you'll have a really cool video to watch. Do it. That was actually a lot easier than I thought. I thought I was gonna smack my bumper a lot harder. It worked out great. Geez, what's harder is trying to walk on these and take a stable video.
And would you look at that view? This is absolutely gorgeous. All right, so we made it to the end of Marblehead Trail. Now it's time to walk down to the bottom, change into some shorts, and we're jumping in. So uh, this is the trail to walk down. It's uh, it's getting there. This is uh, this is pretty crazy. I'm gonna try to do this while filming. I'm just kidding. I'm not. But looks like we're almost to the bottom. Head in for the beach. Jesse, tell me a really sad story. All of my beers broke in my cooler. So now I have a cooler full of just nasty beer water. Here she is, the beach, which seems to be all small, flat, white rocks. Are these, are these marble? Or are they just buff clean? They're all white. They're all white. Wow. Look at that. They're all like washed white. They almost sound like bones. Probably gonna end this video here. So thanks for watching guys. We really appreciate it a lot. It really means a lot to us. You know, when you guys like and comment, but don't do that. Till next time.